to yesterday. My sister informed me that she gave the address of this channel to none other than John Green, first of all. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe you met John Green. And second of all, I thought she meant my blog, where I'm blogging every day this month. Link below. And after thinking, what? Oh my god, I need to post something compelling right away. I was basically happy, you know. John Green is going to read my blog, maybe, you know. Could happen. Then I realized that she was talking about this channel, Living Room Ninjas, which I am a little bit less proud of. And I kind of freaked out on the inside, because if there's anyone in my life who I might consider calling a hero, it would probably be John Green. And, you know, no offense to what's going on here, but I wasn't exactly thrilled with the idea of John Green seeing the channel where I've kind of been messing around with my friends on the internet for the past couple of months. But now I'm starting to see it as an opportunity. Maybe this is my one chance to say hi to John Green and, you know, thanks for everything. And it's possible John won't see this. You know, maybe he lost the scrap of paper that my sister wrote this channel on, or maybe he came before I got around to posting this video and ran away screaming. Regardless, this is my message to him. John, I'm speaking directly to you now, so prepare yourself. Hi. I think that you're really awesome and hilarious and intelligent, and you've made me think about a lot of things that I normally wouldn't have thought about, and you've also helped me to imagine people complexly, which I appreciate. I bet you hear this a lot, but I love your book. I think they're witty and charming and incredibly amusing and beautiful and full of awesome. So thanks for that. And I also wanted to say that your books, through reading them and thinking about them and adoring them, have made me want to be a better writer. And I honestly don't know how you did that. Just by, you know, being the awesome writer that you are, I kind of want to be awesome at writing too, but I just don't know what my writing would be like without you anymore, because you just make me want to strive to just really be the best that I possibly can, and that sounds like a cliche, but it's true, so accept it. If I never get to meet you in person, which I hope to, because I want to go to LeakyCon next summer, hopefully you know, maybe in my dreams. But if I don't get to meet you, I want you to know that. And I don't know if you'll see this video, but if you do, thank you so, so, so much. And I hope you will continue to create compelling content for the internet and for readers everywhere, because I appreciate it, and nerdfighters everywhere appreciate it, and